Hey cookie creators and lovers alike, I'm Gabby. The greenhouses are buzzing and it's time to pick out your plants. Fresh herbs are just one of the yummy perks of the season. Today on The Cool Cookie Show, we're making a three-dimensional herb garden. For our rosemary, we'll start with the mossy brown stem and let it set for five minutes before we add the greenery. I'm going to layer three different types of green to help give the rosemary some depth. For all the elements of this cookie, I'm using a soft piping consistency icing and a number one Wilton tip. We'll let the rosemary dry for 6 to 12 hours before we plant it in some cookie crumb dirt. For our dill plant, I'm working with some soft piping consistency icing and a number one Wilton tip. This dill plant is ready to dabble in the dirt. For our mint, we'll start with a raspberry pink stem using a soft piping consistency icing and a number one Wilton tip. We'll let it dry for five minutes before we add the leaves. And for my leaf, I'll be using stiff piping consistency icing and the 352 Wilton tip. This Merry Mint is ready for the garden. For my parsley, I'm starting with a bright green stem and a dark, cooler green for the leaves. For 
For both colors, I'm using soft piping consistency icing and a number one Wilton tip. For more info on different types of icing consistency, click the link in the details below. We'll let this dry for 6 to 12 hours before we add some final detail. With the food coloring marker, I'm going to add some depth to the leaves. I'll also leave a list of all the tools used in this video in the details below. This parsley is perfectly ready to be planted. For our Trive plant, I'm going to start with the white of the bulb, using soft piping consistency icing and a number one Wilton tip. This chive is ready to dive into the dirt. Now that our herbs are set, it's time to attach them to their dirt base. I'm going with another vanilla sugar cookie, but you could use chocolate so it's brown all the way through. For my extra chocolate sugar cookie recipe, check out the link in the details below. Using stiff piping consistency icing, we'll attach the cookies together and have them prop up for six to 12 hours to dry. Now that everything is secure, I'm going to cover the base in the stiff brown piping consistency icing and coat it in a chocolate cookie crumble. You may have noticed I've added a second base to give the rosemary a little more height for its final container. After fully covering the base, sprinkle it with the cookie crumbs. We'll let the crumbs set for five minutes before we brush away the excess. Mm -hmm. 
all ready for the garden. This herb garden is done and ready to grow. Do you have an herb garden during the summer? If so, which plants do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. These cookies were inspired by my own herb garden and got me very excited to plant my vegetable garden too. But getting everything going takes quite a bit of time. I'll be back June 9th with lots of cookie designs to sweeten your summer. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click subscribe as well as the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. In the meantime, here are some other videos you may enjoy. Thanks so much for watching The Cool Cookie Show. Till next time, stay sweet.